Good morning, good morning, good morning. This your boy Masai Boss with You Hook Now the Podcast. You Hook Now the Podcast. You can catch me on Twitter at Messiah X5. That is my profile page. From the profile page, you can go to both of my YouTube links and you can catch me on both of my YouTube pages. And you can catch me on the Anchor app, the platform app for doing podcasts from your own home, off your own phone if you need to be, or any other mobile device. You can catch me on all three of those platforms and I will be expanding my vision. I see it. You know what I'm saying? I see my vision. I see my territory enlarging and I will be expanding with uh, You Hook Now the podcast. I will be expanding with my devotional podcast that I have just dropped and I will be um, expanding with uh me and my son's podcast you know we got a podcast called miscellaneous thoughts and uh he go by the name of miscellaneous thoughts and what we do with him, with him is that we talk about just uh average things that maybe a lot of people don't think about you know with him being 14 years old just about to start high school be on the lookout for that maybe it's something that you can sit around the phone sit around the the computer screen or whatever and sit with your child, your kid around that same age and vibe into what we talking about. You know, on the miscellaneous thought podcast, everything I have will be running from my YouTube pages and will be running from my anchor page. So uh, whenever you get a chance, hit me up, get at me, check out my podcast. Uh, I am going to flood the market with different podcasts and I'm going to shoot every shot that I am able to shoot because to be honest, This is what brings me to this podcast tonight. Honestly, y'all, this is my second podcast of the night. This is my second podcast of the night. Now, I don't plan on keeping you long, but at the end of the day, I know once I get in my my mode, once I get in my groove and I get to talking, you know, I make it hold you for an hour, an hour and a half. It just depends. You know what I'm saying? But uh, right now, I'm going to be honest. I'm sipping on a cup of Martell, a shot of Martell, with some Sprite mix. So Martell, if you out there, Martell Cognac, hey, I ain't asking. But if you wanna give me a little extra coins to go in my pocket, you wanna sponsor the kid, let me know. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on YouTube, and you can DM me, my DMs open. Let's get this money, let's get this sponsorship, you know what I'm saying? Uh, But what brings me into my final podcast of the night, it's a simple concept. It ain't. It's not even really nothing that I'm gonna even write anything down for whatever. It's just the simple topic of I gotta make it. Now I know what you're thinking. You're sitting in your house right now. You're sitting in your apartment. You're sitting in your kingdom. We gonna call it a kingdom and we gonna call it a queendom because at the end of the day, just because you may be sitting in a you know, 700 square feet apartment, or you may sit in, you may be sitting in a 7,000 square foot home. It doesn't matter. Your kingdom is your kingdom. Your kingdom is your kingdom. You know, and you got the vision to see where this thing is going to manifest in your life. And what brings me to I gotta make it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm a I'm a I'm a egg street cat. You know what I'm saying? I graduated from high school. Yes, I did. You know what I'm saying? I attempted college. Yes, I did. But uh, life hit me. You know what I'm saying? Living fast hit me. And I had to go make some money. You know what I'm saying? And from that, it, it just it was just hands-on, making money, nine to five. And every now and then, I used to hop back in the streets. I'm not going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie to the world. I used to hop back in the streets. I was never a person that try to make a lifestyle out of being in the streets. You know, um, I saw that I didn't have a love for certain things very quick and very young. So I never tried to make a lifestyle of being in the streets or living in the street life. I always knew my success was going to come via hard work or via winning or something you know if i'm just happen to be a prize winner you know i ain't gonna turn down a lottery winning a mega millions winning uh uh uh, uh a powerball winning of 
so many millions, I'm not going to turn that down. You know what I'm saying? Because money is money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The money in my possession is good money because I plan on doing good things with it and helping out a lot of people. But with that being said, man, this podcast is about I have to make it. I do have to make it. I do have to make it. And I'm going to be honest with y'all who are people that are listening, who are people that are fans. My podcast is a view of friendship is a viewer friendly, a viewer sponsor podcast, which means for the people who view me, you can be my supporters because that's how it is. That's how this podcast is going to grow. I don't have those sponsorships. I'm on anchor, but sorry for the yarn. I'm on anchor, but I'm not using them for sponsorships. Uh, I will go directly to the people. Don't get it twisted. I have a, uh, a cash up out that I will be posting along my pages. But for the time being, I am not uh, doing anything of that nature right now. So, because I want people to just take this journey with me and to get the solid foundation of what I'm trying to do with these podcasts. So, this whole I Gotta Make It podcast right now is just me holding fast and holding, uh, holding steady to promises that I've made to certain people. You know, promises that I made to my wife, promises that I made to my kids, and promises that I made to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I met my wife, I told her, you know, like, I I had this this kingdom or this queen that I wanted to build for. You know, and I'm still holding fast to that promise, even though we do have a home that we live in now. But uh, it's not the dream home that I envision. It's not the dream home that she envisioned. But we are grateful for where we at. You know, uh, I told my kids, you know, I tell my kids all the time, there's their life, their life that I want to do and I want to invest into their lives and do things in their lives that I never, ever had. And I still hold near and dear to all those promises. And I got to, I got to work myself off. I got to, I mean, I got to work, I got to work hard. I got to grind. I got to do what I got to do to get it. And, um, I'm sorry for stumbling over my words because this is a real passionate subject to me because I'm, I'm at that point to where. When you look at life and you're willing to do anything for your family and you're willing to do anything for the people that you love, but you got to make sure you stay, you stay aligned with the positives in life. You got to make sure that your desires in life, because your desires can be good or your desires can be bad, that, that, that those desires don't weigh on your life and you don't end up doing anything of ill intent to get to where you want to be in life. So I hold near and dear the promises that I've made and uh, plans that I put aside. And uh, right now, man, this, this podcasting thing, I'm a very, very informational, informative person. And I believe I have a, uh, I believe I have a future into this entertainment business. That's coming to be informative. I don't want to be uh, no one who's a celebrity gossip person. I don't knock what they do, but that's just not who I am. I want to produce timeless topics. Timeless topics is what I want to produce. I don't want to talk about, even though I did, I don't want to talk about the Will and Jada situation. Because guess what? By the time 2020 is over, nobody's going to care about that. You understand? But people will care about black love. But people will care about love in general. Whether it's 2020 or whether it's 2080, people are still going to talk about love. So that's the stuff that I want to talk about. Timeless issues. I don't want to talk about time dated and time stamped topics and issues because nobody will remember those. You know, I want to talk about building marriages. That's something that people will talk about forever. That's the type of things I want to talk about. So if anyone ever wants to be a guest on the podcast that I be holding, remember, I'm not the one that talk small talk. I'm not the one that talks a little celebrity gossip and celebrity news. I will discuss depth of certain people that I, uh, you know, admire in the business and things like that. Um, I will dis I will discuss certain, um, you know, tragic or horrific events. But I don't spend too much time on doing celebrity gossip or things that are not timeless, that are not timeless uh, topics. Because I feel like when it's all said and done, when I want to see, 
what I want people to see when they look at what I got and what I'm doing uh, 10, 15, 20 years from now, that they want to look at what I'm doing, the, the, the foundation that I laid, and I want them to be like, dang, man, this cat beside our boss, he was raw, he was rugged, he was unwavering, he was unapologetic, and he talked about things that really made a difference. He talked about things that really meant something. He talked about things that that uh, really needed to change within our community or within the society that will hold to the test of time, that wouldn't be in and out a decade, in and out or a period of time. That's something that will hold throughout the ages. That's what I want to talk about, you know? So talking about making it, for your family is something that I know everyone thinks about. Everyone thinks about. Now hold on for a second while I take a sip of this cup. Man, that's some good more tell, man. But making it for your family, making it for yourself is a timeless topic. Everybody wants to be successful. But everybody's ideology of success is different. You know, uh, some people do think success is about money. Some people think success is about joy and peace. Uh, some people think success is about connections. And I agree with it all. I have no problem with what people's ideology of success is. So I, uh, I encourage people, whatever you feel is successful to you, strive for it. Put 150, 200% into it and go and get it. Whatever promises you made to people, you know, try to live those promises out. I understand we have things in our life that happens, that alters the way our lives move, that alters the timetables of our lives. I get it. I absolutely get it. Things don't always plan out the way that we had it planned. The carpet doesn't always roll out the way that we want it to roll out. But keep being persistent. Keep going at it, you know, never give up, you know, and uh, hold fast to those promises of having to make it. Hold, hold fast of those promises of doing the best you could do in life for the people that you made uh, certain promises to, you know, and it's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with it. I know a lot of people are in uh, weary situations and a lot of situations of uncertainty. And guess what? Trials and tribulations, they come with every day that we live in. You cannot escape a trial or a tribulation. You cannot escape a test or a temptation. That's one thing you cannot escape. I don't care where you live at in this world. I don't care what your spirituality is like. Trials and tribulations and temptations, you cannot escape. So when things are happening in your life and you feel like things are trying to knock you off your note, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised and always keep pushing. And just know that uh, you got to keep putting that hard work into what you're doing. And uh, everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Oh, man, I got my daughter who just came to the table with me right now. She woke up out of her sleep. And uh, so if y'all ever hear a kid voice in the background, it's okay. I got my daughter in my lap. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just uh, hold fast to the promises that you made to people, you know, uh, but don't, you can't be no one Superman. You can't be no one Superman. The most you can do and the most you can uh, give to yourself is just trying to complete the task so you feel good about what you did and the work that you put forward. It's nothing wrong with if you fall short. It's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with if you didn't get the plan to plan out as you had it in your head, as you had it in your vision, but at least you tried. At least you put up the attempt. At least you put up the shot. You know what I'm saying? And what they can do is give you credit for trying. All they can do is give you credit for trying. You know? And, and you tried your best. You put your best foot forward. You took your best shot. And you did the best you can do about the plans that you planned out, you know, things don't always happen the way we want it to happen. But 
just knowing that you have to make it, you know, knowing that you have to make it and knowing that you might have to reroute some things in life. I tell people, don't despise small beginnings. Don't despise small, small beginnings. I live by a motto that I made up. I said, the minor somethings will turn into a major something one day. The minor somethings will turn into a major something one day. I look at all these podcasts that I'm doing. I look at all the content that I produce. And yeah, they may they may don't be what you may perceive what you may perceive as a, a top quality or upper echelon produced or a top quality type of podcast. But one thing I know about me is nobody can do me like I can do me. You know, no one can talk about stuff like I can talk about things. And um, you have to you have to believe that about yourself. You have to feel that about yourself. And when you go into this war zone called life, when you go into this war zone called life, you must know that you are all you got. I'm all I got outside of the almighty, you know, and I understand everybody don't believe in the almighty. Everybody don't believe in God. And I'm not going to push God on people. You know, I, I understand that. But when it comes to me and what I'm doing and the progress in my life and me getting to where I'm coming from a place to where I knew I don't deserve to be where I'm at doing what I'm doing right now. I don't even deserve to be talking to y'all right now. I could have been in other places for things that I've done. So when I know that I've gotten so many opportunities, so many blessings, and so uh, so many graces, I know who to thank. I know exactly who to thank. But back to the topic, you have to make it. You have to make it. But don't be discouraged if when it's all said and done for you that you didn't reach the manifestation that you had in your mind. Remember, you have offspring. You have somebody always watching. Whether it's your significant other, whether it's your children, somebody is always watching the moves that you're making. Somebody's always watching the projects that you give your attention to. And somebody's always looking back thinking, dang, I want to step up. I want to, I want to, uh, I want to give, I want to produce around that same thing. Someone is always looking to keep carrying the, the dream and keep carrying the vision forward. But it's up to us who are living in the current right now to recognize that. Make sure we pick up on that. And make sure we bestow everything and all of our hard work on the right person. We can't bestow our hard work on the wrong people. So I never forget it. Like I said, man, I told my wife, man, you know, I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I'm blessed, if I'm blessed, to to walk away how I want to walk away and I'm not going to lie I'm not one of those I'm not one of those people that's going to be like oh man if I could just get 10 million I'm good no I want anywhere between 200 and 300 million cash bank account after taxes I got 200 300 million and I still have the power and the capability to go make more money that's what I want I'm detailed about it. The Lord knows what I want. I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh man, just give me a cool meal and I'm good. No, no, no. This is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I deserve. So, um, at the end of the day, be detailed. Be detailed about your intentions. Be detailed about your actions. You know? That's one thing you must do. Have honor in your actions have honor in your decisions you know tell people straight up 
you know, this is what I have planned. I'm sticking to it. Or this is what I have planned. And I had to put it aside for a while. And I need you to understand that. That's one thing about success. It's getting people to understand the downsides or the down seasons of the process. That's what success is about. So think about everything to every family member or friend that you told or that you envisioned in your mind if I make it if I make it this is what I'm going to do for them hold on firm to that even when it's days that you don't even want to hold on to that and you want to be negative hold on firm to the promises that you made to other people and be unwavering about the situation. Be unwavering. And just keep pressing forward. Keep pressing forward. But until then, Remember who loves you. Remember who needs you. Remember who was by your side when you was in your dark places, in your dark seasons. Remember. Never treat them disrespectfully. Never. But just remember I got a word that I must stand firm on. So whether if I made and I pledged allegiance to a person that I wasn't necessarily, you know, all the way trustworthy in or whatever, just remember your word is on the line. Let's do right by folks. <laughs> you know, let's make these these uh these blessings manifest you know everybody needs manifesting blessings so we gotta make it we must make it but until then i'm your boy messiah boss love y'all for sticking around for the second podcast and uh hey <laughs> I'm figuring to go to sleep. You know what I mean? But until then, man, much love. And y'all be safe out there.